Anyway, welcome to the Forest Temple. At least this one's a little bit better than the one in uh, Ocarina of Time. It's At least it's not as confusing to find your way around. I was say, I knew the enemy was here somewhere. Caught already! Why am I not surprised, little monkey? You're actually not required to have the monkeys help you in this place. That's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? <laughs> okay, and infamous Skullchulas. Or Skullwalchulas, whatever they're called. Wow, that was very weird vine climbing. Wait, is there anything in these pots that I should know of? I think this room just has a chest with rupees. I'm not aware of uh, anything else, though. I don't think there's like a small key or anything in this room. Sonic Hill, you know what the item is? Oh, that's good. I assume you've played this game before then. It has been out for a while, it wouldn't surprise me, and not only that, Nintendo just recently had a Nintendo Selects about a year or so ago for it, for the Wii. The ending below certainly comes in handy. Okay, now which way? Oh, I think we have to light these. Lighting torches, the pinnacle puzzle of all Zelda games. Okay, and what are you? I think it's actually the map. You got the dungeon map! Okay, and we've made it out here. Now, it is possible to glitch over to the mini-boss right now. But I'm not really familiar with it, so I think I'm just going to proceed through the temple as normal. I mean, I could look it up quick, I guess. I actually might not be in the right part of the room to do it, though, now that I think about it. Because I think you have to be on the left side. Evil monkey! And we had to see that. All right. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, we can't go any further. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. Okay, yeah, you can't... It doesn't work on this part. You have to... And did I just say left? Is it the left side or the right side? We... Oh yeah, it's the left side. I'm looking at the map. Blue Toad 9, for your information, this game is rated T for teen. So, of course, they're going to have stuff like that on this game. Yeah, this one's a bit... This game is a bit more innuendo-filled. Uh, you'll find out much later on. One of the funniest characters... Oh, why am I climbing these vines? That's so stupid. Okay. Yeah, we have to go in here. Just making sure I wasn't doing something stupid. And you can get Oko here. Once I get this bomb activated. Okay, there she is. If I can... There we go. She's kind of like the Ferrari's Wind of this game. Uh, Alko, or however you like to say her name. Uh, she warps you out, though, if you want to leave. She doesn't really set up a warp point. I think her son does that, actually. But we haven't seen him yet. He doesn't appear till the second dungeon, if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, we need to carry you all the way over here. Oh wait, no we don't. We have... I don't know why I bothered with that, because we didn't even have to do that. We just need the lantern. Again, shows how much I remember this game. Alrighty. There's you. Okay. Precise jumping. Oh, the spider. We can knock it down. This is comedic, though. It falls in the water and dies. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, do I want to go in here first? I'm thinking I need something in this room before I move on. I could just be wasting time. Yes, I know all these monkeys have butts. I don't know if I'm wasting time by going in this room or not, but I feel like I need something over here. I think you're a small key. Yes, you are. Okay, so this was worth my time. Oh, and this is funny, too. These enemies, uh, the Bokoblins, or whatever you like to call it, y you can just hit them once, or twice. It might take two times, actually. And they just run right in the water and kill themselves. Sweet. Okay, and we'll do the same to you. Away you go! next. It is very hard to hear the theme in this place, by the way. The music that plays in here is just more like a jungle theme. So yeah, we needed a key anyway. I don't know why she wouldn't go the other way to let me get my key. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh shoot, I lost track of what I was talking about. Oh well. And the bridge bus. Isn't there like a chest hidden in here somewhere? I feel like there is. Maybe not though. Oh yeah, right here it is. I think it's rupees maybe? Oh, that's a yellow rupee. My face isn't beaming at 10 rupees. It will when we find 100 though. Okay, roll into you a few times, knock you down. And we have caught the attention of some Bokoblins. They're, they're like a mini, mini boss, I guess. And they're dead. Oh, and they cheer for you. I, I forgot about that, actually. Oh, you can't skip this. And hop on back over. Good thing there was two of them. In case you're wondering, there's a total of seven monkeys in this dungeon. Not including uh, that bad baboon that we saw earlier. The one who... Oh, this is the boss key, by the way, but I don't have the item to get it yet. And hey, look at the floor. Z, Zelda, subtle. Wait, can I get a chest here? I'm going to fall into the water. I'm pretty sure there's like a chest in somewhere under here. Oh, there's a path over here. I hope I'm not wasting my time. Oh yeah, here it is. What are you, a heart piece maybe? No, 10 rupees. My face is still not beaming. Oh, I was tapping B. I forgot. This isn't Ocarina of Time. You have to tap A to swim faster. I'm so used to Ocarina of Time after just doing a Let's Play of the Japanese version of it. I gotta get that out of my head. Oh, hello, Blue Rupees. Are... 
Oh, I guess they all have something hidden in them. Maybe. Love how the monkeys swim along with you. Okay. Oh, there it is. I can barely, like, see the tunnel to get my way out of here. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, the doors have the symbol of the Kokiri's Emerald from Ocarina of Time as well. So many references are made in this game that parallel to Ocarina of Time. Okay, we can hop over here. Burn the web. Anything up here? No, of course not. Okay, what dangers lurk in this room? You. I should have known as much. I forget what these variants of the Deku Babas are called. They're called like Mad Deku Babas or something like that. I don't remember. They have a nasty bite to them now. They don't take away that much health though. I heard a rupee. Oh. And I probably can't get any hearts, but it's not a big deal. I didn't lose that many. Okay. Uh oh you. I think... Okay, let me stop here for a moment and think about this room. Nope, not possible. And I fell right into you. Yes, I'm sure that was their way of thinking too, Tevin Wonderland. Keep in mind, we're talking about Japan. As I said before to you, I think I've explained this once, uh, Japan's culture is usually pretty accepting of things like that. So, things like showing nudity is like the norm for kids over there, like in cartoons and stuff. Oh wait, isn't this the place where you can do the glitch? Hold on, let me think about this. I want to say it's possible to glitch here. I know these spin. Once the wind blows again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause here. I want to look at something real quick. Did I seriously just call you Toad in Wonderland? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where my brain is right now. Okay, but yeah, let me, I'm going to take a quick look at something here. Okay, Forest Temple, Twilight Princess. Hopefully this loads and doesn't cause problems with the stream. Okay, I think I found it. Uh, get on the edge of near the first rotating platform and cue Midna and exit out of her text box to switch the wind and have the bridge turn. As it's turning toward you, walk forward to clip into the bridge's railing. You can do that. Cue Midna to turn the bridge again. Jump forward and use a jump slash to land on the second bridge. Oh, good, they do have a video to this. I want to see how this is done. At least I'm at the right spot. Okay, so whenever you activate Midna, it causes the wind to automatically blow. Huh, I never knew that. Oh, I see what they're doing. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to try that. Well, there's a little bit more to the video yet here. What I'm looking at. 
Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. Hopefully I can do it. Wow, that's actually cool. I thought this was possible. Okay, let me look at that just once more so I do this just right. Sorry that I'm paused right now, I just wanted to look at this real quick. Okay. Let me go back. I have to call Midna. And... did that do anything? Didn't look like it did. It's not causing the wind to blow. And I did not clip through it. I'll give this a couple attempts. I don't want to take up too much time doing this, but if I can't get it right, I'll just keep moving the normal way. I just thought this might be something cool I could try. The wind's not blowing when I summon her, though. Oh, that time it did. I have to wait till it does a whole other cycle again, though. Okay, will it blow again if I call Midna? Let's see. No, it did not, for some reason. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for this to spin around again, let me just look at this real quick. Let me pause so I don't get off the timing. Okay, that looks kind of spot on, but I think I might be able to do it. No, I can't. I fell right into the abyss. How natural. That seems to be my style today. Just fail at everything. I don't know why the wind won't blow again, though, when I'm calling Midna. Maybe it's a Wii version exclusive thing. It did, doesn't say that on here, though. But let's try it one more time. Oh, there I did it! Okay, get across. Slowly make your way over. Hopefully the bats won't bother me. Oh, I missed it! Shoot! I got the first part of it right, though. I'm worried that I might run out of hearts, though, if I keep trying it. Oh, yeah, I am down to a quarter heart. I'm going to keep trying that just a little bit more, though. Let me heal up and go back. At least I got half of it right. The other part just requires timing. Okay, can I get more than just this? Doesn't look like it unless I go back down here. I need hearts. I need hearts. Oh, well, there's one. Can I get one more, maybe? I'm not really comfortable with just two and a quarter, but if this is all I can get, I might have to just settle with it. I want to try that again, though. That was actually kind of cool. Go up, not sideways. Thank you. All right, let's give it another go. It wasn't that bad, actually. Just got to wait for it to spin around and do its thing. Oh, and there's a bat there. I kind of want to take it out. Because I don't want it to get in my way when I'm crossing this. Okay, I'm on the side of the bridge. Oh, that I figured out. Now if I could just carefully 
get across here. Oh, he didn't jump fast enough. I'll give it one more try. And if I can't do it, I'll just move on. Because like I said, I'm not going to stay here forever. It would be cool if I could get to the mini-boss early, though. Come on. Hit the keys. Miss every single time. And don't even do the glitch. I think you have to let the wind stop blowing or the bullets are going to be completely off. There we go. Finally. Wow. Okay. Let it spin one more time and we'll give it another shot. i got to figure out how to do that jump, though. That's going to be a little tricky. Oh, it clipped right through me that time. Okay, well, you know what? I, I don't think I'm going to try again here. I will just keep going the normal way. Sorry, but at least you got to see half of it. And I clipped into the side of the bridge. Okay, let's get more hearts again. And rupees. Okay, but I'm going to go the normal way. The, the intended way. The landlubber style way. Get rid of you. Oh, and there's a bombable wall there. Okay, carry you across. Hopefully we can make it in time. Yes, we can, and get blown up in the process. Okay. I think we go this way first. Locked monkey in the cage. Do I, either I get the small key here, or, I think it actually is in the other room. I'm going to go check. I'm almost positive it's there, actually. Because there's another room over here. Okay, climb the vines. and make our way into this room. We have another mini, mini boss in here. And another squeal monkey. Oh, but you have a locked door too. I'm guessing both rooms have... Oh, I hear tinkling. There's a small key. I guess the other room has a small key as well. Okay. I think for this first part, you can just damage it with the sword. Don't jump out of my way. Oh, come on. Thank you. Come on, keep hitting it. Wooden sword challenge, so it's going to take longer to damage it and defeat it. As long as we keep jump attacking it, we should be good. If I can hit the thing. Oh, how did you just miss that? Oh, did we kill it? Almost. We have to do the other part now. Oh, and conveniently, there are bombs placed over to the side. That was so nice of them.
and we shall get our small key and save the little monkey. But... <laughs> oh, heart. It's a key of love. Oh, you have to physically pick it up? That's weird. Okay, unlock the door here. What's in these jars? Money? Looks like it. Yeah, just green rupees. Okay, since we got you, we can go back to the other room. I guess the small key's in it as well, because it wasn't in here, because this key was used to save that monkey. Okay, I'm trying to remember where the key is for this room. I'm not that familiar with this room, actually. Oh, there's a chest there. Might be in that one. Yes, we broke the jar. Okay, roll into you. Oh, oh, wow, I didn't mean to get on top of the chest. I guess it opens from this side. Excited monkey hopping in the background. Okay, it's these guys. Oh, watch your step here. Okay, there's a... Oh, it's a lantern puzzle. I think you have to come back here either for another key or a heart piece. I don't remember which it is. I see you hiding there. Okay, put your lantern away. I don't want you wasting oil. Hello. Sculptula. Finish it. Thank you. Okay, open the door and save yet another monkey. Now I think we can go to the mini boss since we have four monkeys. Well, that was close. I thought I was going to run right into it. Oh, but they can walk on those enemies and they don't get harmed by them. Okay. Since we have saved four monkeys. I guess we go back the way we came. Hop across the bridge here. Yep, there they all go. We follow them. Blue Toad 9, you're gonna love what's coming up here, since you apparently love these monkeys' butts. <laughs> If it helps in any way, think of this as though it's a reproduction of I Am Weasel, with IR Baboon being the boss here, or mini-boss, I mean. That should make it more comedic, if you've ever seen that show before. It was an older Nickelodeon show. I Am Weasel. Lock the doors! But, and creepy looking monkey. His eyes are disturbingly creepy. Wow. And yes, he's got the item that we get from this place. Well, you probably thought that was funny then. Okay, mini boss time. 
once we get rid of these jerks. Oh, why did you make more of them up here? Thank you, I like that heart very much. Okay. Let me hit you! There we go. And guess where the weak point is? Luto9, you'll love this part. The butt. Yes. Oh, wow, that was close. Hit the pillar again and make him fall. Keep giving him a whooping, and you'll take him down in no time. What's he doing now? I don't remember this part of the fight. I'm not sure if he was, like, summoning more or what. He keeps, like, twirling the boomerang above his head now. I thought I hit the pillar. Maybe it was too early. Okay, there we go. And I love how the music changes whenever he's, like, vulnerable. That's actually something nice that they added to this game. Now that we fanned his hiney pretty well, BAM! Right into the pillar. And guess what? That parasite that was on his head what was making him go all loopy. So we destroyed the parasite. So yeah, this monkey's actually not a bad guy. He was just being possessed by that parasite thing. However, he feels ashamed for what he's done. And he runs away. Never to see his butt again. And from doing that mini-boss fight, we get to the special item that he was using. I am the Fairy of Winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and now I have my true power back. Please take it with you. Use it to aid your quest. And may both my power and my blessings go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind aiding you in unforeseen ways. It ain't just a boomerang, folks. It's a gale boomerang. Uh, this is the uh, one of the special items that Link actually uses on Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so if you wonder where that came from, it was this game right here. Anyway, this mysterious boomerang houses the Fairy of Winds. It sucks things up with a gale force. So yeah, equip the item and use R to lock on to places where you see the target. And just like Wind Waker, you can target up to five things at once. Very useful, and it's a very broken item. You can actually glitch the game with it on the GameCube version. So I'm glad I am playing the GameCube version. Okay. And to get out of here... For some reason, you can't target it more than once here. Like, like well, you can, but it doesn't make the gate rise up any faster. I don't know why that is. But I'll show you what I mean here. Like, it does its animation, but it doesn't cause the fan to, like, keep spinning. For some reason, it must show the animation to keep raising the gate. But we can now get out of here. Yeah, you'll see why this item's broken. Uh, you can do glitches with the Gale Boomerang. That's why it's really kind of cool to have. And seriously, like, without doing glitches, this item probably doesn't get used as much as what it normally should. Okay, and to get out of here, we have to do this the normal way, since I couldn't glitch across these platforms. Still would have been cool if I could have gotten here early. Oh well. Oh, there is another monkey here. Where are you going? Somewhere. 
Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. Well, that reminds me, since we have the Gale Boomerang, we can get the boss key. I was back in that one room that had the Z symbol uh, plastered on the floor. I'm going to go ahead and grab that first, actually. Okay, roll past all you, and come back out to the main hall. Oh shoot, I think I have to go back to that one room for something else too. Actually, I'm a little early. Or not, because I lowered the bridge there. I had to come down here anyway for an item. Okay, get some more seeds. Are there any bombs around here? There's you, but that's not what I'm looking for. I need a bomb, I need a bomb. Oh, you're right there. Right under my nose, in plain sight. I thought they were somewhere else. I guess not. Okay, will my face be beaming by these rupees? Eh, not so much. It's only 20 rupees. That's nice. That's what it says on Wind Waker, anyway. That's nice. I'll use the boomerang here to knock you down. Oh, I thought this was a key. It's a, I think it's the compass, actually. Yeah, it is. Compass. Oh, and you can also see where the monkeys are at with it. Yes, thank you, Midna. I just said that. Okay, pull up the map, and if you zoom in, uh, there's a monkey over here once we get over to that room. Oh yeah, we can head that way now. And, oh, there's the boss. And then here's another monkey over in that room. And there's tons of chests that I've skipped. Including the boss key. I think I'll grab it first. It's just right over here. Actually, I should have saved it for later, because this is the way I have to go later. Uh, once I get everything else in the other rooms. So I'll be doing a little bit of backtracking here. Oh, I guess I could use the Akko item to get back to the entrance quick, but I think it would take a little more time now that I think about it. Because the entrance is somewhat a ways off from where we're headed. Okay, make a Z pattern here. I think I actually did it backwards. Might still work, though. Yep, it works. Z for Zelda. Get it? Okay, let's get our boss key. Da 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 da! Or, call Big Key on this game. That's weird that they call it Big Key. I prefer Boss Key as a title over Big Key. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to... I don't think I have to do this, but I just... I'm pretty sure it's Heart Pieces that are in some of these chests back in the other rooms. I just want to double check though, so I'm not skipping anything important. Whoa, you caught him from like a mile away. Oh, and I never did get the chest over here. Oh, I gotta use a bomb to blow that thing up. Okay, destroy you. Okay, can we get here fast enough? Probably not, because it took me forever to pick that bomb up. Yeah, I didn't think that was fast enough. I think I could just boomerang it, though, and catch it. If I stand ever so slightly at the edge... Okay, there we go. We should be able to catch it. Or not, because it blew up. Okay, 
Maybe if I do it from here, it'll save some time at least. Or, or not, because it still blows up. Okay, can I grab you without wasting time? It must be ricocheting off of the uh, edge of the railing there, because I don't know why else it's doing that. This is not really a good time window, though, for doing this. Yeah, see, because I just blow up right there. Oh, there's one up there, though. Dooley. I guess I have to go back around and get it. You've been streaming for four and a half hours. Yeah, I know it's been a while. I'm kind of redeeming myself for that glitch. I'm almost done, though. I'm not going to continue much further. And if I can pull a glitch off coming up just right, I'll save even more time. Uh, it involves the Gale Boomerang, so hopefully I can do it right. Okay, now we can destroy you. And I'm getting kind of tired as it is anyway. You could probably tell my voice is like dying. At least this was a cool experience for me. And hello, piece of heart. That's what I thought you were. Okay, and I think in the other room it's also a piece of heart as well. I still want to get it, though, if I can. Again, on this game, you have to get five to make a full heart container. It's not four like in almost every other Zelda game. Oh, there's two chests in here. Oh, since we have the Gale Boomerang, we can blow all the enemies off of that bridge and destroy them. Bye-bye. Oh, you landed on the ground. Wow, they take a lot of hits. Sorry if you hear that clicking. I'm trying to do spin attacks. I don't know why. It's hard to do with this controller for some reason. Oh, you went back underground. Hit the enemy. Thank you. I don't think there's any more. Okay. And by lowering that platform, we get you. Yep, another heart piece, that's what I thought. Okay, and I think the other chest is just rupees. Um, it's just right up on that ledge. I guess I could grab them. There's nothing special about getting them out, other than the fact that I'll be richer. But knowing my luck, I could completely bypass, or bypass a key. Okay, yeah, I'm done here. I'm gonna keep going on through the rest of the temple. And coming up, there should be a glitch that I can hopefully do right. At least this game has glitches similar to Ocarina of Time. Uh, this one's more forgiving, though. It's uh, It involves the Gale Boomerang itself. I'll explain more once we get there. Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. But I didn't have to do it. More monkey butts! Okay. Alright, so now that we have the Gale Boomerang, we were over here before, but now we can actually use the Boomerang to our advantage and go the way we need to go. Oh, 
Oh, what's the red dot again? Oh, there are monkeys. Oh, there's three monkeys. I thought there was only two left. Apparently, I can't count. There are three monkeys remaining. We may not need to save them, now. Okay, let's go ahead and get you. And I have the boss key, so I'm good for that. I'm coming. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go anyway. How about that? Okay. Normally you have to let these monkeys all gather as a group to get you across. But I may be able to skip all of this. Okay, I think... I'm going to try this on my own once, and if I can't do it, I might have to check something out here. Oh, I have to get a target. Wait, shouldn't I be able to... Oh, yes. It looks like it lets me lock on. Oh, what was that, Link? I kind of did that early, though. Um, and I didn't really do the target correct, either. Let me try this again. Okay. If I can smidge it up too low. Let's try there. Okay. No, Link. That is not right. Oh god, we only have one heart. Uh, can I get more from the other room? Yes, Uber Zelda fan, this is pretty rare. Uh, you missed it. It took me two hours to do the glitch properly to be able to get it this far. Everyone else who's been here pretty much can vouch for me. Okay, that's two hearts. Might have to look this up because for some reason I might even like not even be in the right spot. Let me go back again see if I can get a third heart though before I keep trying this. At least the hearts respawn, or they should anyway. Okay, there you are. Oh, is that what it is? The, the, okay, thank you. I thought I was doing something wrong here. I'm glad you know something about it. Uh, which ledge, though? The lowest one, maybe? Or one of the ones up higher? Because I think when you do a long jump attack, you have to like be on a ledge lower than where you're trying to reach. I think it might be here. No, that wasn't right. Okay, let me pause here a second. Let me just look this up here. Okay, I think I see the timing for this. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm looking at uh, the link you have. Haha, <laughs> puns.
Oh, that was a pathetic excuse of a long jump attack, though. Let me get more hearts. I want to try to do this correctly. Okay, it only seems to spawn one heart here. Yeah, I know, that was the video I just looked at. Um, wait, what am I doing? I need to get another heart. Oh, that was a bit... I could tell that was late. Every time I keep failing, though, I'm going to have to restock a heart. Now, I know the long jump varies uh, as far as when you time the button to press A. I'm not sure if this one... I think you have to wait till it comes partway back, from what I could tell in the video. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm really out of practice with this glitch. Uh, that was not right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's been, like, years since I've played this, to be honest. So, that's why it's going to take a little time till I get it right. Now, do you out-target for this? I think you have to. Because otherwise, I don't think Link jumps right. Okay, that didn't work. The timing is pretty precise, too. That's the other thing that sucks about them. Still wasn't right. No L targeting? Okay. Yeah, let me look at this video once more. Let me see. I'll have to pause here quick. Okay, yeah, it didn't look like... I don't think they L targeted. Wow, I had to look at the basics just to figure out the, how to do the glitch itself. That's sad. And this is the GameCube version. Okay, I looked back at it. It's hard to tell if they actually are L-targeting or not. I think I see what the timing is. It has to be over the void before you actually do the jump attack. But let me go ahead and try again here. And I don't have very many hearts, so that's what's a big pain about this. Or items to refill my heart meter. That wasn't right. Okay. This is going to get monotonous. I guess I don't have to keep coming back out here to refill the heart, but the beeping noise gets annoying. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
I've been able to do this before, though. That's why it's just a little bit of a pain for me. Oh, that still was not right. This is going to be just like the glitch I was doing earlier for the Sword and Shield skip. There we go! I got it. The first part, anyway. Now I have to get here to the second part. I think I have to go up to where that other monkey is, too. Maybe. Okay, yeah, there I am. Alright, now can I do this without screwing up? That is the question. Because I got the first jump and I have to get the second one. Ah, shoot. Oh, I got it halfway done. Yeah, I think I discovered L targeting doesn't seem to work well, and you have to wait till it's over the void before you actually do the jump slash. I did figure that out. Timing. It's all about timing. Okay, let me just get another heart here. Sorry about that, I had to adjust my mic there for a second. Alright, let's see if we can do this again. Get your foot on there. There we go. Got the first part done. Now let's see if I can get up here on this ledge. Ah! Don't fall off! I really don't want to fall off here. Don't fall, Link. Okay, good. I can get the first jump good. Now I just gotta figure out this other one. Okay, I'm not exactly position good right there. There we go. I got it. Yes! Take that, Forest Temple. Okay, time to go against the boss. And we left three monkeys in cage somewhere for all eternity. At least we don't have to look at any more of their butts. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay, now I know, I know there's something you can do here to make this go by a lot quicker, too. It's not until the second phase, though. And this isn't that hard of a boss, really. Violet Parasite Diababa. Boss time. Actually, no, I'm not doing that right at all. Well, at least it ate the bomb. <laughs> okay, that might be a smidge loud. I'll turn it down there. Actually, I'm not doing this right at all. I know exactly what I'm screwing up with. I have to target you first, and then I have to target you. Oh, shoot. Didn't need it. Okay, let's try this again. No, target the bomb. Thank you. Oh, it keeps getting out of my way. Jeez. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Phase one done. Now for the second phase. I think I know what to do here to make this go quicker. And there's the big bad boy himself. Motion blur. Always a cool effect. Okay. Nothing we can do, because all the bombs are gone. Oh, but what's this? 
Big bad baboon with monkey butt is back. We totally needed that shot. Okay, now to do this, I think you have to put the bomb down and then target him. Actually, oh, well that works too. But that's not what I was trying to do. I'm not trying to feed them the bombs, jeez. But that makes this a lot easier at least. I need it to land on the ground. There we go. Okay, so there he's carrying another bomb. Acid! Oh, there it ate it again. They keep getting in the way every time I want to do the trick. I'm trying to make it so that, uh, Ook, or whatever the baboon's name is, makes the bombs come by quicker. Which he did the first time. I just suck at L-targeting, apparently. No, I'm not trying to target you. Okay. Well, if I can't do this the quick way, I can always do it the normal way. Not quite what I wanted to do. Oh, I missed it. How'd that happen? Hit it! Thank you! Jeez, that took a while. There we go. No more monkey butts, exactly. <laughs> but we defeated the boss. And epic music plays. Of all the Zelda games, this game has the best fanfare for defeating a boss. It's actually really cool. And we got a heart container. And more. Something else is about to happen here. As this disgusting creature decays, this happens. And... We have this. It's a fused shadow. Well done. That's what I was looking for. That's a fused shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what that spirit said about how you had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? Ehehe. There's a total of three few shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly what few shadows are, well, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. I guess you better do your best to find them. So let's not waste any more time here when we could be looking for the other two. Have I played Skyward Sword? Yes, I have. And I have uh, completed it, including Hero Mode. And I never intend to upgrade my save files to the new version that Nintendo has put out. So I technically still have the version 1.0 version of the game that has the infamous Goron save glitch. Nintendo really has a bad reputation for those save glitches. What am I doing? Want to go outside? Are you all done here? Yes, I am. So we're going to leave. Okay, I'm going to save the game here, and I think there's like one cutscene yet. Oh, it definitely has been a while. Three hours. Eh, that's not the fastest time. Uh, in no way is this a speed run. I'm just practicing some of those cool glitches that you can do in this game. I look at... 1.0 is having certain speedrun glitches that 1.2 doesn't have as well. Uh, of Skyward Sword or this game? Which one are you referring to? Oh yeah, the lands we're going to uh, have Twilight. 
So we're heading to Elden next. But, oh wait, that's better. Searching should be much easier now. But of course you you feel the need to go help the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you turn into a beast again, I'll take good care of you. First thing you need to do is find the land covered in twilight. Once you do, I'll help you out. Hehehe, <laughs> see you later. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here.